massage. I'm going to take you through a sound journey using one of my favorite recipes. So today we'll be making shrimp aqua chile. It's one of my favorite bites and I've learned this from one of my chef friends and I fell in love with it ever since. Um, first I'm gonna start just massaging these limes just so that they can get extra juicy. Just real quick. And then after that, take a knife. Cut them in half. Also, I've never cooked sitting, so this is this is new. about four limes. Here I have my peeled and clean shrimp. Then I'm gonna take out the container. generous amount of lime juice to get that acid to really cook out the shrimp. I'm Vietnamese American and I know this dish is um, from a Mexican background but I grew up um, in a um, Hispanic neighborhood and grew up a lot around a lot of um, Hispanic friends and I love Mexican flavors and I love Mexican food um, and that's why I fell in love with this dish. And then I'm just gonna get this glove. Make sure the shrimp is submerged in lime juice to let all that acid just cook the shrimp. And then you can be generous with it because it's going to balance out the acidity from the lime. Next, I'm going to add a light sprinkle of white pepper. And that's going to bring a little bit of heat to the dish. Give it one more mix. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but... The shrimp is already starting to cook and turning pink. And then once it's opaque, it's ready. So now I'm just gonna set this aside and work on the rest of the ingredients. Next, I'm gonna prepare my um, cucumber because when you're having aqua chile, you gotta have cucumber to add a little freshness. Keep the cucumber skin because that's going to add a nice touch of green to your agua chile. Okay, next I'm just going to take out the core because we only want the flesh of the cucumber and then be extra careful if you're using a sharp knife. Now, cut it into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm gonna keep it pretty thick because I like that extra crunch. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of kosher salt. And then, 
season up because you want to season every step of the way. And I'm gonna set my cucumbers aside. Save your cucumber skins because that's gonna go into the aqua chile. I'm gonna chop up everything so that once I hit the mortar and pestle, it'll be easier to grind and turn into a paste. some serranos and if you hear me pronouncing words with a hispanic accent that's because i grew up with a lot of hispanic friends and by doing so they're gonna make sure you say a couple of things properly like serrano jalapeno y cilantro which are all ingredients for this dish. Next is my jalapeno. Just listen to the sound of the knife gliding through the jalapeno. That's how you know how sharp it is. And that's how you know what I'm doing right now is super dangerous because this mic is in the way. <laughs> okay, so I have my cucumber skin, my serrano, my jalapeno. Next, I'm just gonna use about a quarter of this onion. I thought it would be cool peeling an onion um, on camera, but we're short on time. white soy sauce it adds 
a kick of umami like i don't know how to describe it but it's just it's amazing but listen first i'm gonna peel off this
and reduced it down and just mixed that too and then uh, just to give it some color it's a deep red color I'll show you guys just give me a quick second Ooh. I know it looks like blood but I I promise it's not all right this might get messy but remember when I said the peach juice gives the onions a deep red color. I know you've seen pickled onions before. They're probably mushy. They're probably purple, pale purple, but I'm going to put you on today. This is pickled onions with peach juice. Notice the color. Notice how vibrant, how red it is. And that's just going to make the dish pop. So I'm going to just sprinkle on a couple of onions just all around. Uh, like my mouth is salivating, so I can't really talk, but shrimp, aqua chile. I'm David Nguyen, and thank you so much, so much for coming to my mind massage. The shrimp, the cucumber, the pickled onion. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for having me.